This is our point of sale system, otherwise known as POS. You get very familiar with it. You use it to clock in and out when you get to class and leave. Keeps track of attendance for us and how many hours you've completed in the program. Here you would enter your student number, which will be given to you. Your name will show up here. This is the example number for John's student. Choose which which section you're in, bake shop, a la carte. You'll use this mostly as a server, so clock in as a server. Here's the dining room. So say you get a guest seats at table 111. Enter the number of guests. Let's just say one person comes in for lunch. Then over here would be the ticket, and these are the different categories of the menu. And these change fairly frequently with whatever menu we're running that week. So you start their, their order. They want tea. You simply just push the tea button. As an appetizer, they want salmon cakes. You push that. It shows up over here on the the ticket, you push done, and it sends the information to the printer so the line cooks can start preparing the food. Just like that. So they've got their appetizer and their beverage, and you've taken their order for their entree. Come back to the POS, enter your student number. Now the table is green because it's an active open table. Click on that. What you've rang in is already over here on the side. So, entree, there's many different options here. Say they order the grill special, pork or beef we're running right now, beef, and then a temperature scale comes up on how they want their piece of beef cooked. Say they want it medium rare, push that in. All that information shows up over here on the, the ticket. And then you just push done, send that one to the, the line to be prepared. All the information the cooks need would be on there, beef, medium, rare. So they're finished eating. They didn't want dessert. It's time to close that table out and print up a, a check for them to pay. Make sure that it's all correct. And then down here there's close to close that table. And then you would select the tender that they were paying with. Cash, card, students can pay with their financial aid. Now the table's cleared out. When you're done, serving, you would go to the WWT screen, and you have some options down here, clock out, check out. Check out, you want to run after you're done serving, and what that does is it prints up a summary, a sales summary basically, of all the tables you had and what they've got, how much money. This is very important to do. And then, of course, when you're finished with class for the day, you would just clock out. It prints up another summary sheet that shows when you were in, when you were out of class. Keep track of your own hours, just like that. That's it.